Now, I'm sure that many of you are very well aware about the exit of David Benioff and D.B. Weiss from the new Star Wars trilogy, also known as the fourth Star Wars trilogy by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, we actually learned a lot about David Benioff and D.B. Weiss and their exit of the new trilogy that was all set and ready to be released throughout the 2020s. Bob Iger has said repeatedly before in the past that this was going to be based within a new mythology of Star Wars. And from all the different articles and the different stories that we have actually talked about from The Hollywood Reporter, Variety, Deadline, you name it. You know, of course, this was all in the talks since August. So Kathleen Kennedy was in the talks with David and DB about their exit for many months on end now, allowing her time to search for somebody else for the new Star Wars trilogy. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about the future of the franchise, and what's really intriguing about all of this, of course, has all to do with not only are Disney and Lucasfilm currently focused on Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, but they are also invested in the new live-action TV series on Disney+, Plus, as well as the new Star Wars trilogy regardless of David and DB's exit from the new Star Wars films. It's explained that Disney and Lucasfilm are now, from the new Star Wars films, in a state of acquiring writers and directors that would craft a brand new Star Wars trilogy after the writers of Game of Thrones exited the projects and that Kathleen Kennedy, head of Lucasfilm, is said to have her eyes on McFeely and Marcus to create at least one Star Wars film for the new Star Wars trilogy. It's explained that Disney and Lucasfilm are currently in negotiations of bringing them on board after the success with writing Avengers Infinity War from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and that Kathleen Kennedy is looking for Kevin Feige to produce the new film with still no directors currently set in stone as of yet. It's explained that though their work on Infinity War, Lucasfilm, and Disney hope to finalize this decision in order to bring Star Wars into a new direction of creating a new Star Wars universe, where it's described that Disney and Lucasfilm want to bring on experienced and talented writers and directors to create the new trilogy as a success that takes place in a new mythology of Star Wars. So let's go over a couple of parts about this and as to why I really do believe that this could save the Star Wars franchise, especially after the sequel trilogy and how it really has divided the fans, right? Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that Infinity War was by far the best Avengers film, without a doubt, at least in my point of view, and I'm sure a lot of you out there will agree that Infinity War, without a doubt, was the best Avengers film, if not, you know, better than Endgame. In my point of view, I think it was. I think it was a stronger film. I didn't like Endgame as much as Infinity War, but anyways, I digress. Now, having Marcus and McFeely on board for the new Star Wars trilogy, the fact that Disney and Lucasfilm are now in negotiations of having them write at least one new Star Wars movie for the new Star Wars trilogy is big. This is a big change by Disney and Lucasfilm. It seems like that they really are bringing on a lot of Marvel creators and producers to the Star Wars universe. We saw a great example of this just last month when, of course, we saw Kathleen Kennedy bringing on Kevin Feige as a producer to produce a new Star Wars film. And not just that, now they're in the talks with Marcus and McFeely, the writers of Infinity War. They wrote the screenplay of that movie. And this really is going to be a big deal if this actually is finalized because this would really save Star Wars in my point of view given that, you know, if you look at the new Star Wars trilogy, they really do need experienced writers. And that's exactly what Disney and Lucasfilm want. They want experienced writers, directors, and producers working on this thing in order to really bring Star Wars and steer it in the right direction. Now, does that necessarily mean that they have doubts about the rise of Skywalker? That's very hard to say at this point in time right now, right? We do know that Disney and Lucasfilm tested with six different endings for Episode 9, which could very well be a big sign, a big sign without a doubt that they're not quite sure exactly what they were doing with the very end of the Skywalker saga, and they were testing out different endings to see what fit best for the overall plot. Now... Having the fourth trilogy being helmed by Marcus and McFeely, I think, would be excellent. The fact that they are in the talks of including them on for at least one Star Wars film. We're not quite sure if this is going to be the first film, the second, or the third. Most likely the first, given that they want, you know, the best writers to really kickstart a new Star Wars trilogy first before they head on to other writers or other directors. Now, in my point of view, if you're getting Marcus and McFeely on board for the first film, let's say... You have to bring them back for the second and third movies 
to me that in, in order to really keep it consistent with the actual you know quality of the movie and how it would actually stand pretty much you know alone on itself you know if you do that i think that a lot of fans will really enjoy exactly what disney and lucasfilm are trying to craft here for the new trilogy and that really is a big deal you know not just that but they're still in talks with keanu reeves of having him portraying the role as a main character uh villain and or hero in the new star wars films so that's pretty much ongoing as well but anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. And I'll catch you guys next time.